I am assuming I'm on the button. Uh, go. See. Well, it's two bad power up grabs. Have you started packing yet? Nope. Probably should start thinking about what I am going to pack. Ah, well. I'm sure it'll work itself out. <laughs> I'm sure it'll work itself out. I'll wake, I'll wake up and everything will be packed for me. I just packed t-shirts and shit nothing special um are you bringing a mouse and keyboard for yourself uh yes okay. well i'm gonna bring at least my mouse i don't know about the keyboard i don't know how much it really matters probably not too much just not sure if they'll have you like sitting right up close to the pc then to use the keyboard there i don't know they did say that uh that's weird they did say that we I could download the software for my DPI settings as long as I uh, uninstall it before the next run. <laughs> Feels like my DPI somehow got lower. <laughs> like, the... my sensitivity is real low. It's weird. Is that better or worse? Uh... It's different. I usually play Cactus at pretty high. It's not that bad. <laughs> I'll get used to it. Hey CJ, how you doing? Thank you for the splits comment. They are the best, aren't they? I feel like we're doing pretty good. I guess I probably shouldn't say anything just in case. Uh, it's so weird to aim. Oh, don't get stuck in a the wall. There's a. Well, you're not probably not gonna get to it now, but. I figure right since we're full screen now, you shouldn't have to worry about going outside the bounds of the window. <laughs> that might help a yeah, little bit. Yeah, there was a. Uh... I, f I forgot about it. I got distracted playing Diablo. There's a program that uh, forces any application to run in windowless border 
window board borderless window mode that I was gonna download and see if it worked. And then I forgot. Ooh, 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 and I ooh. looked at the clock and it was 6:58. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, I gotta do stuff. I could see you were online. Yeah. I figured you'd remember eventually. No, I, I was watching the clock and then I just forgot to keep checking it. Oh, so I killed them all up there. My bad. Oh, those are some blocky ass shadows. Love it. <laughs> I think we're still on medium settings. And this game can run on basically anything, so. That's true. Pato setting strats. So, when it means medium, it really means medium. I uh, see how you stuck out to get all that weapon power. I left enough for you to get at least level one. Oh, it's fine. Oh, I was really far back. Oh god, Ooh, I wasn't geez, that spread, not though. prepared for that wave. Alright, that works. Kept chain. Everybody lived. I wonder... No, it wouldn't make sense. I don't know. I wonder why your global splits don't work, but mine do. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, you didn't change any other settings, right? For your side? Mm -mm. I don't think so. Oh. You have more than one monitor, right? I assume you do. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because my splits on a different monitor? I don't know. No, mine, mine are on my second monitor, too. It's really strange. Oh. Guess we could ask the developers about it. I suppose that would be the thing to do, rather than just shirking everywhere. <laughs> this is the last night of practice, also, though. So. Yeah. At least on this crappy setup. It's, it's better up. with Parsec. Yeah. This is this is a lot better than the whatever the other one, Moonlight. Oh, almost died. Be a little careful there. Oh god, jeez. Oh, be no. careful, man. I hear you flipping your shit over there. you. <laughs> Aubergine, making a difference. Apparently there's already, uh, there's already people at the hotel for the oh, event. Really? Holy shit. Yeah. Like three quarters of a week in advance. Yeah, it's... I guess the guy, like, lives really close, so he just, like, went there right away or something. I was like, jeez, man. I'm getting stuck on every wall in the world, jeez. An overachiever yeah. over here. Oh, that was so strange. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on all the walls. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. Oh. Hello, please. Oh, look out for those. Didn't need to get that, but okay. So 
too many dogs. Jeez. You scored way more than I did on that level for some reason. Aubergine, easy mode. That's what I've heard. Especially the gamepad. It's the best. Hey man, that's your choice. <laughs> it is. You're gonna be really heartbroken if she's not one of the ones that are chosen. I am. They better fucking pick her. All the donators and shit. Oh. Oh, I tried to save you. I figure the description for it is interesting enough where it's kind of a no-brainer, but... I don't know, people are weird. Did we put Peanut on there? No. Should we have? Uh, we could have, I mean... They were saying something in the Discord about like, if she's like drilling a boss, nobody else can damage them. Uh, with like a secondary. Yes, I think that's true. So, it would have been real interesting to deal with. I wonder what happens if you drill her second after somebody else is already smacking Ooh. her. I don't know. I'm not sure how the iframes would work on that. But I feel like there would be a good chance she would get chosen. She shoots lava and has a giant drill. <laughs> that sounds pretty interesting. And has a Scottish accent. I can see that. Shot through that, dude. I don't know why that came to mind. Ah, oh, dang it. Serve that one, I guess. Uh, after this round, I'm gonna disconnect real quick and change the setting. Alright. Because I have. Slightly more input lag from last time, and I think it's because I changed stuff on my end. It's make it's making me angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't really been taking a lot it, of man. downs. Yeah, I don't know how you did it with Moonlight, man. That's yeah, crazy. It was, it, was, it was a struggle sometimes. I'm, I'm trapped. I'm trapped by wasps. Oh my goodness, the conveyor belts, they suck, still. Where's the second one? There he is, okay. You are Mr. Score Chaser tonight. And even with a down, I took crown, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why did I just switch? Oh, okay, whatever. Oh, that works, you know? Oh, there you go. You got it. F off. Doing that garbage to me this time. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> please. Please get out. Please stop. F off. Ooh, very close. No, oh, not another red. Game's being nice to me on best feel. <laughs> oh, oh. Alright, don't hit for that one. F off. That was a really strong best feel. That was pretty good. That might be the best we've ever done. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. No downs? Nope, it wasn't. No stupid bullshit downs. 
It was not the best we've done, but it was Aww. still really good, and I'm proud of us. I'll catch up to you in a minute. That's alright. I'll clear out most of it. Whoa. 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 Whoa, I felt that one a little bit. I don't know how you stayed up on that. No, I don't want that. Oh, oh, oh okay. yeah, for that well, I don't have it anymore, so. <laughs> That's how much I didn't want it. <laughs> you just had to give it away. Not the ideal shit to have in this hallway. There we go. That was risky. Oh, I was hoping to get the stupid thing, the spindly doodle. That was a weird spawn. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh I'm dead. Okay. Oh, that was a very bad place to put that. Okay, that's not what I wanted, dang it. He will not be invincible. <laughs> what? Pretty sure that wasp just did two damage to me. Super wasp. Oh my goodness. Did we somehow survive that? <laughs> please health. Please, thank you. Like that.
Just run uh. this way. Oh, okay, you go that way. I had to flip through. Those Coward. Me. Oh, okay, I need to get that. No, Gravity. it's mine. <laughs> Alright, you can take it if you're going through. Oh man, stealing all my power up crystals. <laughs> power up crystals. Oh god. Well, look out for those though. Yeah, you can have all the crystals you want now. Start up. Time. Just at the end, too, I think. Wow. It's like 100 points out. What's happening? Ah, uh, you got that one. Bear belts, please. Skip a rut. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> I don't know. Can we pull off an accidental beam skip again? I mean, probably oh, not like nope. that. <laughs> there you go. Well, we kind of did. Yeah, go us. I did it for you. I did it for you, Bond. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we don't, we don't guess, need any more I bond. guess that counts. We don't need any more beam skip spawns. So. No, we don't. That's all right. We, we did it. We didn't undo it. I'm in a bad spot. Oh man, I was gonna flip in for that when I decided against it. That was something. 
It did it. Wasn't our best justice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Not with two downs on the first phase, but that's okay. Are we two minutes ahead, Sam? Uh, we are... Oh, I want to stop trying to kill me. We are 14 seconds ahead. Nice. Uh, and then I died. Now we are two minutes ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Without Sam to weigh you down, we can really get this speedrun started. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that I did not say that. He meant yeah, it though. I think he did. I might it have been thinking like it. He laughed at it, so it was approval. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Alright. Delay is really messing with my face. Sometimes it's really great and then it'll just like spike. I think the setting I changed is really bad. I should not have changed it. Did you toggle on the delay box? Probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, I think so. No, I upped the uh, bandwidth to like 15 or something. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah, that, that won't have that much effect. I think it has quite a bit of effect. So I'll just lower it again after this. Aw, oh, you son of a bit. <laughs> Try not to swear. You, you jerk. No, no, let it flow through you. I'll take that one too. You're a piece <laughs> of crap. <laughs> Come on, it's not not good to hold your feelings in. I'm just wait, just gotta, wait gotta for Medulla, go. buddy. You just wait for Medulla. Oh, I'm waiting. I'll wait all Comes day. A fucking laser. It will. It will. Mark my words, it'll be there. For no gosh dang reason. I will leave with a proud smile. Will be you? like, yeah, worth it. No, I, I probably won't. <laughs> that is a pretty good clip. My goodness, very funny. <laughs> the funniest clip I've ever seen. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. This game sucks. <laughs> Why is the camera following you? I don't know. He knows who the star of the show is. That's right, it's just painting a target on my back for the medulla laser. Well... We went from 14 ahead to 9 behind, so... Oh, that's not great. Yes, that's rough. And it's all because you took those fire powers yeah, from Yeah, that's me. gotta be it. Yeah, that's it. I had nothing to do with the downs, no siree. If you don't want to get world record, that's on you, man. Well, I'm, I'm doing my best, okay? You know, we can't, we can't pop our world record here when we're in practice. We gotta wait for the main event. You're never getting another power up. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you have that one because I'm a good guy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's the reason. Look at that. Perfectly timed. I'm a god gamer. That was the best, no doubt. No. Nope. <laughs> Wasn't fast enough, but enough to accelerate.
Stop saying firepower to send it. <laughs> hey, we gold split. Now we're only one second behind. That was a very fast relay. It's because we are the best. Without question. Right, you handle all the laser guys. Oh, I will. Not a problem. Pop right there. Ooh, that was close. Oh, mouse, please move. Thank you. Well, this is going to be a treat. Yep. Oh, what? I thought I had blue. Pew, 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 pew. All right, we're back to seven behind. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anything die. What the heck? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, God. Stuck on a wall. God, I can't kill anything. Oh, lasers. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a real... I'm dead. Oh, this isn't a good start to repeater. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I don't think we're going to PB this run. <laughs> Look, my delay's gone now for a couple seconds. It's... Okay, now it's back. <laughs> There's less shit going on. Oh, here comes the laser. Fuck. Oh, mine. So mine. What's the. What was the maximum amount of downs we had that one level? Was it like 17? Uh, 17 on Medulla, yeah. Let's see. Let's see where we're at in this. I don't think we're gonna break that. <laughs> I hope we don't break it anyways. Come on, canisters. Oh, that was a bad place to be. Right in front of it. I was gonna, I was gonna say, you're real close. I was gonna swap in and grab that firepower real quick. And it worked. I got it. But then I died. Yeah. Okay. Thank oh, you. that's a lot of lasers. <laughs> I sneeze. Maybe. Don't do it. Hold it in. Be a man. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
How do you not die, Mr. Laser? Uh oh. Oh. I'm stuck. No, nope, that wasn't horrible, I guess. <laughs> we still lost something, I bet, huh? <laughs> we only lost six more. Oh, that's not bad. That's recoverable. I was expecting us to start hitting 20 behind. We're only 12. Oh, no. I was trying to let you get some. Um, okay. Got it. Die. Just Jeez. do it. Oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, once you get the easy one, because I'm a good guy. Oh, there we go. That works. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, so close. That might be a little bit close. <laughs> I got real scared there for a second. Pretty good venom. <sighs> We're ahead again. Huh. Interesting. How much ahead? Three minutes. Wow. That's impressive. We're, we're I, so I have good. to say. Yeah. Just on venom alone, just gain three minutes. All that sandbagging was paying off. We are. And you, someday you gotta teach me the the art of the minus ninety second venom. Uh, you gotta skip a phase or two is the key. Oh, uh, is that the same as wasp skip? Uh, it's a, it's a little bit different. It's the same concept, man. Oh, yeah. First, you have to get good. And then the rest Do you have to get good every down. time, like before every phase, or just once? Uh, just once at the beginning, and then you're oh. good for the rest of it, really. Oh Jesus, that's okay. not a good place to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck off you my You are being phases. super brave. That is so dumb, I is. hate that. <laughs> it is inspiring me to stay very far away from you. Just gotta have a little bit of courage and a lot of stupidity. I don't know like where that. I'm at. Like that. See, now you're getting it. I wasn't sure where I was. <laughs> I couldn't find myself. Do that. Thank you. Pew 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 pew. Um. Or maybe we weren't ahead. I think we were still behind. We just gained. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm crushing my dreams here, man. Maybe, maybe we're three minutes behind. Oh, that's really far away. This is gonna screw with the spawns a little bit. Worth it.
Ow. Oh, it was way over there for some reason. Hey, gold split. If we just get gold splits from now on, we'll be good. Easy peasy. I think you've solved the problem with speedrunning. Just, just get gold splits every time, and there you go. Well, we usually do. Figured we'd try we something gamers. different this time. Just every round is gold. And, and not do gold splits at first. Just use Bond's weird split program that gives you gold for every split <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> hey, there is a reason. I'm just not sure what it is. It's positive reinforcement. That was a bad move. Okay. Okay. Freaking rockets. Those are the most dangerous thing on this level, is the stupid rockets <laughs> everywhere. Can't fucking see the targets. Oh, that's stop, a sir. big laser. Okay. We're still within five seconds. Positive or negative? Uh, we're 4.5 behind, so. All right, well, we can do it. Level of truth. This is gonna be great. I admire your optimism. Okay, lasers, calm down. There's no need for that. I'm stuck. I'd like that better. Oh, I don't want to get it. <laughs> I didn't even know it was there, honestly. Fuck off. Aw, oh, you bitch. 
Oh, why did she fucking stole everything? Oh, I thought she went down. That was you. So yeah, all right. I'll take another one. That's that's fine. Okay. I guess. Got her. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me load. I have input delay. You want? No, 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 no. no Where is no, she? No. There. Uh, she's Just like uh. What? Fuck. No. Why am I so slow? No. I thought no, you got no, it. No. Oh my god. All right. No. Oh, Fido. Ah, shit. Come on. Damn ass, blue ass dogs. Fucking hate him right. so much. That kind of ruins any hope of our PB, but. That's right. Like, why is she not dead from all of that? Off. The bitch. Yeah, that <laughs> that set us back quite a bit. Oh really? Oh, she only got one, but I think she got like one of the bigger ones. So it's like, fuck. Yeah, that that put us from four seconds behind to twenty nine behind. Damn it! Well, we just need to do a perfect medulla, and we're fine. <laughs> It's getting hard to see. I was trying to make it over to you. <laughs> and he's going. I was not going to dance into that. Dang it. Oh well, he's guarding that one pretty good. Where am I? I thought it was you. Alright, here we go. Here and it comes. Now your yep, chickens yep, come home to roost. What a shit. It's okay though. Now your chickens come home to roost. Oh, what? How did that hit me? I was behind it. Little bitch. Yep, here it comes again. Like, what is the deal with that? The fucking laser. The fucking laser is just after me all the time. That was a really good phase for me. <laughs> Okay. Could be better. But... At least you guys are consistent. Like, there's no train. Okay, that's on. cool. No, just eat that box, I guess, huh? I was a mile away from it, but that's cool. It just explode for no reason and hit me anyway. These boxes are almost as bad as Vespula's melee. I don't know. Vespula's melee is pretty shitty. Oh my God! Look at that garbage. <laughs> Holy hell. Okay. I went down for that one on purpose. <laughs> uh, we were really close. Well, we weren't not anymore, but we were kind of like within ten seconds, kind of close. Uh, we were within fifteen at the end. That's not bad. We saved fifteen seconds on that. We got halfway there. On the medulla fight? We yeah, we got halfway to cutting it all off. That was actually a pretty good medulla. Dang. Almost 51 <laughs> minutes exactly, actually. 51.00.32. <laughs> wow. 
disconnect from this. All right, yeah, you want to disconnect, uh, reconnect, or whatever, right? I'm gonna take it down to five again. Connect. Oh, uh, where's the fucking mouse again? <laughs> Are you suggesting we plug Holly directly into the Come on, come on, stop, stop the recording already. Like a blown Can fuse. Like a rhinestone okay, cowboy. Ba -bum -ba -bum. Should have just gone to the fucking main menu. There we go. Uh, see, Kenny is not on yet. No. Uh, huh. I'm just going to close you. Oops. All right. Um. No, that's fine. I'm going to stream the mixer for this next one just in case she shows up. <laughs> Do you just have a seizure? I heard something happen. I think the audio was catching up for somebody. <laughs> I thought you, it sounded like you had a seizure just then. <laughs> the seizures because we're so good. All right, I am streaming on Mixer now. What's happening? Computer's freaking out. So you turn it back down to five. Are we doing a mix-up? Is Kenny around? Uh, no. Okay, well, this window doesn't work on my desktop for some reason. <laughs> this, this browser window no longer works. <laughs> Interesting. Windows is freaking out. Okay. Well, can you let people know? I, I can try, I guess. What's the URL? Mixer.com slash Toucan Sam, I think. I think it's just Toucan Sam. Oh, look at like okay. seven tabs opened up all at once. <laughs> what in the we'll world see. is happening? The stream is for mature audiences. My internet's like freaking out. Where's my output set at settings? 2500, it's not crazy. Alright, whatever. Alright, let's see if I can reconnect, if it'll let me. Alright. Oh, well. Hold on. I need to check and see if my mouse is working. Alright, you do that. Because I have like. I don't know. <laughs> What's happening? Well, you're connected. Yeah. Something weird's happening with my PC. Like, I have my mouse cursor from my other. From. Maybe if I start the game. So we just need to restart the game, maybe? Close and reopen. What's happening? Where's Cactus going? I don't, I don't know. I wasn't controlling that. She, I didn't. I clicked on the level and it just like she just took off in the opposite <laughs> direction. All right, I have no mouse control. All right, um, all right. I might have to restart my computer. So I don't know what's happening. My computer's kind of freaking out. Why don't we just try restarting the game first? <clears throat> hey, you don't, you don't have any mouse control on the remote PC at all? Uh, no. Interesting. Or at least not in Cactus. Oh, okay, I... I have it now. Or maybe that's you. Oh, that was that was me moving it around. I don't know if you were clicking and shit. <laughs> <It's> just, why <laughs> did you move the browser around? There you go. That was you. I can't get this out of the way. Um, find a mouse cursor. Yeah, there we go. Now ah, we're getting it. All right, I have mouse control now. Excellent. Roger. Really wish I knew what the. Oh, you can move wasd. Yeah. No, I know there was. 
not Z and X or something, right? I don't know. <gasps> Found it. Q and E. Right. No, it's the uh, bracket buttons. Oh. I don't know what they're called. Square brackets? The uh, ones, the ones right above enter. Oh. Like you see the little straight line thing above enter, and then the two keys to the left of that. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, square brackets, curly braces, yeah. whatever. Okay, <clears throat> calm down. It's not that important. <laughs> hey, you ask, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay. Let's go. Lesser trash this time. Right, this feels a lot better already. It did I seem rather to. crisp as I was playing. Like it was less soupy. Yeah, I think I just had my bandwidth thing set up too high. It looked really nice, but... It did. That's alright. We don't need nice graphics. Oh, did it affect your graphics too when I turned mine down? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's kind of blocky. Yeah. That's weird. I wonder why. I don't know, maybe it takes the lowest... The lowest common denominator oh, or something? I set, I set mine to like 5. So. Mine's at 5 as well, but... Maybe it's the highest. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of weird black magic going on. Not yeah, quite not sure what to sure make of it. I'm not sure how any of this works. Oh. Okay. That's not oh, a great that's start. that's not a good start. Oh boy. That 1-1. One, one. Still only cost us two seconds. How did you get that one? I don't know. Your butt was pretty well on it. Yeah, no Aubergine high score. All is right with the world. How's your input leg now? Better? Uh, it's it's much better, yeah. I probably could have tried like 10 and seen if going to 10 from 15 would help. I think that's the default. Oh. Okay. Jeez. He did not want to die. No, oh, it went down, okay. 
Like, that's okay. I got this. Okay. I'm not even seeing how I die like half the time anymore. was a really bad capacitor. Dang it. It was very spread out at the end. That was almost bad. Hey, G.I. Jones, how you doing? Nope, we were about even. Oh, something. I don't know why we're getting so slow on some of these levels. It's really weird. Oh, what a shit. 
didn't even try to move towards us at all. He's just back there for no reason. Ah. Kenny says he got here too late to suggest commentating this run. I'm commentating myself anyway, it says. Forever learn. That's pretty sad. Oh my god! Why is it doing that? It keeps doing this random thing where my mouse cursor just won't rotate the way I want it to. I don't know. It's, I thought it was input lag, but I guess it's not. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe you're at the hair edge of the camera or something? I don't know. Sound like it. We are still losing time somehow. I don't feel like we're doing that much worse. I mean, Kenny can still come in and commentate if he wants to. <laughs> Plus, we've already thrown him off his... Oh, Jesus. Good work, mine. Old star for you. Actually, I got him. Oh, don't do that. Why is this guy spawn all the way back here? Oh, Where Jesus. He? This is a weird angle. I like it. Yeah, it worked, I guess. wonder what isometric view looks like with two players. I don't know. I think I tried it once for like two minutes and said, no, fuck that. Oh, this fucking conveyor belt. Why is it so bad? No, okay. Can you see he'll be insane? Okay. Thank you, CJ. I love you. Oh, love you that's a bad place to be. Conveyor belts, why? Why are the freaking corners so sticky? Please. Hi, bro. Hey there. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm trying to view your stream, but it's not loading for me. <laughs> Who's mine or? Bombs? Yeah, yours on Mixer. Oh, really? That's weird. It works for me. That's uh, weird. Yeah, yeah I was just watching Mr. Bond. I guess I'll keep watching Mr. Bond and try to sing by myself oh, so I can load your stream. Yeah. I think Mixer does that sometimes where it just takes a super long time to load stuff for no reason. Hmm. Sometimes Twitch does that for me. No, Twitch is perfect whenever does that. Yeah, there's not Twitch has never had any performance issues of any, any None kind. None whatsoever. Where's the last No, one? it totally never took like twenty two seconds to load. Well, well, it just it just loaded finally. See, yeah, see. told you it, it knew you were talking about him. <laughs> so this is the second boss, Vescula. 
Uh, and remember the wasps? We've got more wasps. I know, that's not how the meme goes, but... Uh, <laughs> And I talked about swarms earlier. They're, you're going to have to really keep an eye on them in here. But uh, we've already got through the first phase. And in the second phase, Despula actually shows herself. And you have to actually focus on her while oh, she attacks Oh, that was a bad you. idea. What am I doing? Uh, third phase, we've got more wasps again. Which, in this case, they're a little more dangerous because they kind of surge in and out towards you. Uh, I find this to be the hard hardest wasps phase to deal with. But having firepower and or accelerate helps. And you see that Star Trek firepower there, so it was a little bit easier. Um, here Vespula has more attacks for you, like vines and blue bullets, which we never saw the blue bullets because she's already gone again. And now we're into the second to last phase, which is more wasps. These tend to be easier to manage because as you can see, as long as they stay, one of them stays along the edge, it kind of pins her against the wall and the wasps come out in an angle that is further from the wall than you are. And the sixth phase has a bunch of attacks that we didn't see because shutdown happened. Uh, but you basically get the novelty flowers from phase 2, plus the vines from phase 4, plus more wasps. So now we're into the third zone, which is uh, the security station zone. And uh, again, we have a new aesthetic. And uh, for once, we have a stage that doesn't really feel like an arena anymore. However, it still behaves like one. Uh, you might be tempted to try to skip enemies. You would eventually come across a door that you can't go through. So you still have to kill enemies to make the stage progress. Um, also, something really funny can happen if you have Accelerate. Uh, there's a section of this that is a long hallway, which they're entering now, which if you have Accelerate, it can kind of almost have like a rubber band in effect. Um, but we're going to be introduced to one new enemy here uh, fairly soon, which is the Super Mine, which, well, it's a mine, but it's upgraded, so it's larger, it takes more damage to kill, and it has a bigger boom like we just saw right there. That was a little dangerous, I think. Um, so, basically got a- oh boy, we've got a hallway full of mines and super mines and blaster titans and more mines and- oh, did we mention mines? We've got uh, some bomber titans here, so yeah, remember them too. Oh jeez. Uh, yep, oh jeez. I did tell you to remember the titans. You didn't- you I didn't fire you. that quickly enough, I man. I avenged you. Thank you, Sam, stand-up guy. <laughs> but anyway, now we've gotten to the end of the hallway and we have one more- we didn't really get to see do its thing, and we probably won't in this map, but we'll see it again later, which is the laser turret. So we've seen the bullet turrets, which are the white turrets that shoot bullets out in like five directions. The laser turret shoots a red laser out in four directions. Um, and uh, I should talk about red and blue damage, because we've seen blue bullets and red lasers and red explosions and stuff. The colors do have meaning. The blue bullets will only hurt you, the player characters. Red damage will, however, affect both you and enemies. So you can actually use like mines and bomber titans, mine, the mines that bomber titans shoot and the lasers that uh, the red laser turrets shoot to try to damage enemies, but it's usually more effective and efficient to just deal with them yourself and not have to worry about avoiding the red damage yourself as well. So now we're into transit, which again is more like an arena stage, but it gives us the illusion of movement with the, uh, the way that the background moves here. And there's going to be a couple times during the stage where uh, the cart kind of turns and it'll actually affect your movement. So it basically sort of has like an inertia effect where you can only, you can't really move along one axis very well. Um, we're going to see in a short bit here uh, after this first turn here. Well, first we're going to have mines because everybody loves those. And uh, then we're going to see this laser that comes through uh, every, every so often. We've got a laser in the tunnel here. And uh, there's basically two ways to deal with that laser. One is the so-called coward strat, which is hide behind boxes. However, you'll notice that these boxes are busting open with titans coming at them because the titans don't want you to forget them. Um, however, there is another strategy, which is you weapon swap through them. So... Uh, when you weapon swap, you actually turn invincible for a split second, which, uh, if you've looked really closely, you'll notice the character glows white very sh for a very short period of time when you weapon swap. And anytime your character glows white, that means they're invincible. You also see that when they get up from knockdown, like what just happened to Sam, and, uh, yeah, I didn't hesitate to point that out. And, uh, also when you pick up a shutdown, you turn white because you're invincible for several seconds. So we've got another new enemy here, which is factory it's these big green things that have these little nodes that kind of look like fish that orbit around them uh, you generally don't want to cross under them because 
they're always spawning nodes continuously, and you're probably going to get hit by a bunch of them and take a knockdown. So it's kind of dangerous to go under them. Uh, we're going to see another new enemy uh, very soon. Oh, we actually did get to see a laser turret fire there, by the way. So that was a thing. It was very Did it short. for you, Kenny. <laughs> Don't hold back from me, we're supposed to go fast. <laughs> Alright, here's another new enemy, which is the wasp tank. So, we like wasps, well, uh, you also like pinatas? Well, we just put them both together. Um, yeah, who, who doesn't want a pinata with bees in it, basically? Um, so, we've got those. Generally, you want to try to take out the wasps uh, that burst out from those tanks as soon as they open, because they're in sort of a tight formation at first, so it's easier to kind of sweep across them and destroy them all. What did I just hear in the background? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what that was. Okay. Uh, so we've got more wasp tanks, and we've also got this flame that's coming out of the side of the center area. So uh, this level is called Heat, and well, you can kind of guess why. No, 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 no. Oh, watch out. <laughs> watch out. Oh. Okay, that was just a random mine. I think I busted your Wait, guard oh, there. Oh, from, from the bomber time. I was going to say, it's not mine time yet. <laughs> it's going to be mine time soon. That is but, not what uh, I expected to kill me there. You'll also notice there's another turret on the other side of that center uh, wall. So uh, you might guess that there might be another flame turret. Yeah, there is. Uh, so oh, nice. this level is repeatedly going to change its direction of rotation. and Now it's just completely stop rotating and shooting it, your, its flame out so that it can catch you off guard so you can accidentally step right in front of one of those turrets like an idiot and no. then it's turned back on. We're completely safe. It's fine. It's not turning back on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting a little nervous about start. Uh, uh, there you go. <laughs> okay, no, you, you were in a better place by then. Okay. So uh, we can fit in some donations here since uh, this level is going to just repeat the recurring theme now. Ah. Where's CJ at? You know good. what, Sam? I'm sick of you bossing me around. <laughs> That's, that's a no weird. Boys, so that's oh, a weird what? donation. But oh okay. man! Also, I donated one hundred dollars to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Retroactive. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, watch out for that though. Oh, that's dumb. Um, that stuff's really far away. I'm just, oh no. Also, just for the record, I, there was donation time in, like, process and, uh, influx as well. And, uh, what's the one between that? Oxygen. Oxygen is what I actually meant for both of those. Okay, so now we're into Revolution, which, uh, remember the conveyor belts? They suck. Yeah, you didn't like those, did you? You thought that we were done with them, right? And never had to face them again? Wrong! There's conveyor belts here. As you can just see, just now, the, uh ring towards the center and then another one towards the outside just started moving and the walls attached to them also move which is kind of annoying um the center circle and each alternating ring are stationary so you can kind of mitigate the confusion by standing on those so that at least you know where you're going and uh but the problem is enemies will still step on the moving rings and if power-ups end up spawning on what? them or batteries those will move around as well so, you still kind of have to deal with the rings moving to an extent. Oh, we got a good glimpse of the laser turret that time. For, like, one second. We're gonna see another new enemy, uh, shortly in here. We're gonna see, uh, a recurrence of the factories, which are the green ones, but we're also going to see a new red type of factory called the Vector Factory. Uh, we just saw one on the top right, but we, we probably blinked and missed it. Um, mm. instead of... Uh, having nodes that swarm around them in a circular fashion, the vector factories shoot uh, nodes directly at you. They're, they tend to be easier to deal with, but they can still catch you off guard if you're paying attention to other things and they sort of snipe you from the side. Uh, with that said, we can fit in more donations. <laughs> Isn't that the wrong song? No, that's the right song. No, that was the right song. Yeah. Why am I thinking that's a different zone? I'm drunk. You need to brush up on your music, Kenny. I've been, see, the thing is, like, I've always been practicing the game audio muted, so, because, like, other, I've just been practicing from VODs, so. 
these wasps can go fuck themselves. That was a donation comment by me. <laughs> Which they probably wouldn't read. Probably not. Hey, we gained a couple seconds back. Nice. And now we're on to the third boss, Justice, who just ranged from above. And uh, unlike the other bosses we faced so far, he only has three phases, which in itself is sort of a difficulty spike, because on bosses, batteries only drop between phases, so that means that if the phases take longer to kill, well, you're going to have a little more battery starvation going on if you're having trouble with it. So initially, we saw them immediately make him turn to the side, which forces him to drop laser fences sooner, which is good, because when we kill the laser fences, they drop power-ups for us. And now they're already actually into the third phase. We didn't really get to see much of the second phase, which involves these little hello-looking things of his own and shooting ah. rockets at us, which will instantly knock you down if they hit you. Also, what will instantly knock you down is if you get too close to him, he has a little plasma field thing. In the third phase, we see more laser fences, and he also throws his heads at you. Yeah. Uh, when the heads drop... Oh, that wasn't very nice. I'm pretty sure that one of you Is destroyed that a the head... Probably. I'm pretty sure one of you destroyed the head and it exploded on the other one of you. <laughs> um, that was me. Yeah, that was yeah. Sabuku. But anyway, each of his heads functions like a super mine once it drops onto the field, and each head fires a different laser. We didn't get to see much of it because they shut him down most of the time. Uh, so now we're into assembly, the first zone, the first level of the fourth zone, and again the artistic style has changed, and we're going to see a lot of dynamic level design in this zone. So you'll see that this has several different hexagonal platforms that drop in and out, uh, and they have different patterns in terms of having a pillar, being half a platform, having a hole in the middle, having several pillars, or there's one really jerk platform that has three pillars and three holes in it. Um, but they have this lovely little flat platform in the middle that's great, and they're just going to make sure to Thank keep you. standing on that so that it doesn't despawn on them. Because as long as one of them's standing on it, or an enemy is, then it won't despawn. Also, oh. we've been introduced to... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we've, we've been introduced to mines, right. but we already knew them and didn't invite them to this party. Rude. But, uh, we've also been introduced to a new enemy, the Fetch Fido, or Blue Toaster Dog. Um, and, uh, you might have seen it, a glimpse of it already. We'll be seeing more of those. What they do is, rather than fire missiles at you, they try to line up with you and then put a leash on you, which means you have very restricted movement. So, you can kind of tell when they're going to do it, because normally they just kind of jump and strafe around, but they will sort of keep a line with you with once they're going to leash you, so you can kind of see that coming and be like, no please, and prioritize killing them. Uh, this level also has a few turrets, which sometimes drop kind of far away like that one sort of kind of did. Uh, which is uh, a little bit annoying. Um, and we're going to have laser tourists to do that too, so uh, keep your eyes peeled for those. But we can fit in another donation or two here. $500 from Medulla. Those lasers, they be coming for you. Just for Bond, though, not for me. Just for me, that's right. <laughs> we don't want to get ridiculous here. Uh, can you reach it? Oh yeah, my god. I got it. Oh, there's one of those turrets. Oh my god, that's a lot of bullets. Alright, I'll get the other one. And there's the other turret, but fortunately it's got pillars kind of keeping it in the way. Although that's kind of dangerous too, because like if there's a if a turret drops in one of those pl pillars on it, sometimes you don't see where the lasers are coming, and then all of a sudden, oh, surprise laser after. I'm dead now. That was somehow a really bad assembly. Hmm. Will forever be a mystery. Oh. Oh, jeez. I didn't think it went that bad. We had a lot of knockdowns. Uh, oh, you yeah. had a lot of knockdowns. <laughs> hey, it's co-op. Not... It's Wii. I was using the royal Wii, referring to me. There's no you in team, Sam. There's a you in quit. <laughs> There's also an I in quit, so that works either way. Anyway. Um, so this is me in team. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> if you're just Lexic, I guess. <laughs> There's also a T in team, so we could just like stop playing right now. <laughs> well, we forgot the M though. Oh no, wait, M and E. But anyway, uh, this is Relay, uh, which, uh, as you can see, is another level sort of like Checkpoint, where it's a little less arena-esque. But again, you still have to kill all the enemies, otherwise the level will not form up in front of you. And you also see that platforms drop away behind you as you advance as well. 
Uh, we are seeing another new enemy here, which is the Turbo Drone. Uh, they're a little more aggressive and a little more circle strafey than the regular drones, and they fire three bullets instead of one. They can be kind of annoying to deal with, with weapons like Starch's primary, because you kind of have to waggle to get them to kind of be fooled into running into it. But if you have firepower, that helps a lot. Or, of course, micro-missile their butts, because that'll home in on them. Uh, but we got time for more donations now. We'll at least have some Californians watch us, because like it'll only California. be like it'll only be like 12:45 a.m. or something. There, the next day is July 4th, so they have no excuse for not to watch us. Other than their scrubs and don't appreciate this California. Break. Sounds a lot like the Californians. Really good to their homeless. <laughs> CJ said he's not gonna watch. He has no yeah, excuse no. not to watch. <laughs> what what time like, is, is it gonna be for me? Probably Actually, something really well, easy. Yeah, I guess your excuse is you don't get July 4th off. Like uh, the wait, middle of the wait, afternoon? It's July 3rd. It's July 2nd, I think. Or no, it no, might it's be the 3rd. It's technically the 3rd. Yeah. So. Uh, I think it's at like 5 p.m. your time, CJ. Actually, I think the GDQ thing adjusts for me in a second. Yeah, it will. And actually, yeah, I'm brain farting and thinking, yeah, July 4th is the next day technically, but people might have to work on July 3rd, so it's rough. Because they're scrubs. It's rough. People in my company fortunately don't, but not all companies are that cool. Not all companies love America. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, loving America is fine, but they love America so much that they give us an extra day off. <laughs> it's 6 p.m. for me. Get ready. Easy. That's close. Okay. Yeah, so you have no excuse not to watch. I don't know why you'd tell me you wouldn't. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say that at all. I, I heard it pretty, pretty putting, loud and clear. You're putting lies into my mouth. No. Oh, putting lewd. truths into your mouth. No, oh, don't put your truths into my mouth. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's not nice. Um, anyway. So this is focus, and as we can see, the ground kind of drops out after each phase, or uh, after each several phases. Uh, and we're gonna okay. want to make sure to be sort of towards the outside of the level the next time that happens And we'll see why the next time the graph pops out Also, yeah. there was a new enemy that we saw briefly here, but we probably didn't see any attacks from them There might be a chance for that later in the level, uh, and that is the Reaper Spectre oh, um, So I'm just like the up. Fidos were kind of a regular- oh, well now we saw why we didn't want to be towards the inside of the level okay. when it dropped out Because there's this blue flame in the middle, which, reminder, blue damage means it won't hurt enemies, only you, so this won't do you any favors at all. It'll only give you sadness. Okay. Oh, we just saw a laser from one of the Reaper Spectres. So, uh, yeah, the Reaper Spectres, just like the Fidos, were Oof. kind of a regular enemy embodiment of the missile attack that you first see in Embryo. Uh, the Reaper Spectres are an embodiment of the laser attack that you see in uh, Justice, sort of, where they track you very militantly until they are just about to fire, and then you can easily strafe away from where the bullet, uh, where the laser's gonna shoot. Um, but they're also kind of squishy, so if you're close to them, you can focus them down pretty quickly with Starch, for instance. Uh, we got more time for donations here. How many downs do you think- oh, okay, how many downs do you think this level's gonna have? Uh, probably ten. I'm probably at like six on my own right now. That is a nice round number. I mean, it opens the door for the teens, but also remains yeah. optimistic. Could be seven. Or... <laughs> Look on the brace side, like. No, I think we passed seven already. Yeah, I'm pretty so sure we passed seven. I, like... I think I've gone down five or six on my I'm own. I'm pretty sure you passed seven. I like how seven, Sam's Sam. positive splits are blue instead of red. See, seven, seven on the dot. On the dot. We are only 40 seconds <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh shit. That's no good. That's uh, no good. So this is for plenty Peter of and things just escalated quickly. Um, uh, bring in the rustic memes. We've got uh, orbital factories all over the place here. So uh, I should probably mention that in co-op, uh, basically as you add players, the game adds enemies and makes them less squishy. So uh, things can get pretty chaotic pretty fast. Uh, so this level is for Peter and uh, no, no. fans of Bastion might think this looks kind of familiar. Because it has a very similar uh, effect in terms of the tiles forming up and down. Now, there is a limited amount of tiles that can form, so uh, it's worth keeping in mind that it always has to maintain a direct path to any enemies that spawn and any batteries. 
So uh, if you happen to get kind of far away from enemies, you can basically sort of run out of tiles to spawn in front of you, which can kind of be a rude awakening. Uh, and also during some of these sections, we'll notice that also walls spawn on some of the tiles, so that actually restricts your movement, which is unfortunate because that also happens during that mine phase. F off mines. Oh, more mines. <laughs> Unfortunately, it tends to open up there a bit, so it's a little less scary. Uh, so we're seeing more wasp tanks here, but uh, we're also going to be introduced to a couple new enemies. First is the tendril factories, which we just saw very briefly here. Um, those actually shoot little bullets uh, out from their center in a radial pattern. We're seeing a couple of them there, but just like the other types of factories, the bullets disappear as soon as you destroy them. Also, we have mine tanks. So we had wasp tanks before, you thought those were rude, mine tanks are worse. Um, however, uh, in the presence of many mine tanks, one thing that can be useful is take a shutdown and then just kind of walk up to them and explode everything, because you're invincible, and it'll be fine. Uh, but as we're finishing up the level, we probably have time for another donation. Mm -hmm. That was the donation. Tim Allen. Tim Allen. Oh boy. Tim Allen, what a character. Should... What Long a guy. You should add that to your repertoire when you get hit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did okay on that level. Did we regain anything? We did. Excellent. Oh, 13 because seconds. Dark blue on dark things. Yeah. Hey man. Yes, you know Sam. What? Your splits suck. I'm not a graphic yeah. designer, okay? I'm just trying to make it fancy for the fans. All right. So this is Venom, the fourth boss. Fans of Ikaruga and other Bullet Hell games might at home here. Um, Go God, Jesus. So the first phase was this uh, turret orbiting the side of the arena. Then we have these four turrets in a line down the center, and then we have the uh, very technically called Spindly Doodle. Shout out to Moonspot. And uh, this fires bullets from itself, and uh, you... Oh, we just saw very briefly dark bullets there, and we see more here. And now we have sort of an intensification of the side turret phase, where we have two of them. Uh, special note, when you defeat... when you destroy one of them, the, the bullets all despawn, but then the second one that's left actually shoots in a more intense pattern. Uh, now we have eight turrets in two rows down the center. Uh, this can okay. be really hard to deal with, uh, as we just saw, with the live example from Toucan Sam. Never disappoint. And, uh, but there's a lot of stuff going on here, so you gotta pay attention to where you are, where you're oh, shooting, that's and what the heck is nice coming timing. your way. Uh, now we've got the greater spindly doodle. Okay. Uh, whoops, oh well. <laughs> and, uh, you'll notice though that there's kind of, like, specifically designed gaps in its pattern, and, uh, the developers kind of threw people a bone after a lot of people had a lot of trouble with this in early access, and made the patterns more distinguishable. Now we've got the, uh, technically named butt phase, where, uh, Venom sticks his butt out and shoots webs at you, which will slow you down. And you've got these little spiders coming out from the sides, which explode. And now, while well, you've shot off his arms and his butt, so oh, he has to come out full it. force and try to spit on you, and, uh, that spit will actually do damage if you walk over it, so try not to do that. Fun fact, one of the unlockable characters, which you actually unlock by beating that boss, has a similar attack to that. Uh, so now we're- now my stream just buffered or something. But we're into centrifuge. We're That's into the thing. final zone of the game alright now. Um, and, uh, this- this level is a lot of fun, and, uh, I like to point out that this game has some extra mo- extra bonus modes that you can unlock with credits that you earn for completing levels. Um, PS developers, please put in more things we can spend credits Aww. on because we have a lot of them. Uh, anyway, one of the EX modes is called Virtual Player Count, or VPC for short. And basically what that means is, you can play with one player, but turn VPC up to four, and face the enemies as if you were playing four-player co-op. Which means a lot of crazy stuff goes on, and this level is just filled with enemies. And uh, also filled with power-up spawns, it's kind of funny, you end up hearing call-outs for power-ups like every second. The characters can't even keep up with it. Um, so we're going to be introduced to one more new enemy in this level, which is the Jumbo Fino. Also, mine tanks make a reappearance, but that's where shutdown can really come in handy, because there's always three of them at once. Uh, so the Jumbo Fido is a large rip toaster dog, 
and it acts much like the original white fighters uh, except that instead of shooting one missile it shoots out a whole ton of missiles at once and they kind of keep tracking you for several seconds so you basically have to just keep moving which well that was already the name of the game facing any type of fighter really. Um, but yeah, we basically just have the uh, so-called centrifuge, walls opening, spitting enemies full force out at you. So, kind of want to be maybe towards the center so that you don't happen to just land, have a bunch of mines land right on you. Uh, so we just saw another to jumbo fight out there, except that he was shut down, so we didn't, he didn't get to attack. Which is always good when they don't get to attack. Uh, this one is getting to attack, so we're going to see a bunch of tiny little micro-missile radicals. Uh, but, yeah, now that I've covered everything there, we have time for another donation. Okay. Tim Allen donated $50. Uh? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that didn't get high enough. Uh? There we go. <laughs> I think it got high and then it went lower again. That anyway. uh, could be. His voice would change. Give him a break. <laughs> So this is control, and this has an interesting new feature, which is these turrets that you can step on and they do stuff for you. So uh, this machine gun turret that we just saw right here, you step on it once, and then you can go your, on your merry way, and it just keeps firing until it runs out of ammo, and then it has to recharge. Um, also, we're being introduced to, well, remember the Titans? We've got a third type, which is the Buster Titan, so named because, well, they'll bust you up, as you just saw them attempt to do to Aubergine there, which was... Um, if they're far away from you but get direct line of sight, they will lunge towards you, which can, fun fact, also push other enemies in fun ways once in a while. Um, but once they're on top of you, they will just do a ground pound, which, uh, as opposed to the other types of titans which do red damage, their ground pound actually does blue damage. So the only person who's screwed is you, unfortunately. Um, so try not to stay underneath them. You can weapon swap dodge through it, though. Uh, so, in addition to the machine gun turret, there are two other turrets in the stage. At the top right, there is a missile turret, uh, which is also kind of useful, does a good amount of damage. And unlike the machine gun turret, though, it only fires while you're standing on it, which kind of means you have to be sorted in one place, which is bad, for instance, for avoiding missiles, like Mr. Bond didn't. Um, oh, I'm fine. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> yeah, Mr. Bond, what a loser. <laughs> Can't believe you got hit by those missiles. But uh, anyway, the, it, the upside of that is you can control the ammo more directly. Um, on the top left, there is a turret, which uh, is sir, not appearing in this level because we don't really bother using it. Um, it's a it's a plasma field, which is kind of like Coral's secondary weapon, which is, oh, damn it, Sam. <laughs> but uh, he had to just do that. Got oh, you good. For it. Sam's a rebel. Oh, yeah, that'll teach you. It's karma. But anyway. Oh, um, the, the lasers, please. <laughs> but yeah, so the electric, the problem with the electric field is, again, you have to be standing on it to activate it, and it kind of keeps enemies kind of close to you, which you kind of don't want, especially in the case of the Buster Titans. So yeah, it's kind of dangerous, and we tend to stick to the other two turrets. Uh, we got time for a uh, another question here. <sighs> well, hey, we gained a couple seconds back. We are not within striking distance, though, so don't oh, come be on. too stressed. Well, it's because I didn't come in at the beginning. The optimism, because every time man. I come in, you guys seem to pee big. But I only, came are, in. Yeah. I only came in at best level, though. There's uh, almost no hope of a PB right now. <laughs> oh, he said almost. That means there is hope. Anyway, this is Convection, and this is one of the longest levels in the game. Um, it introduces one new enemy, which we're seeing the bullets from right now, which is the Banshee Spectre, uh, which are the blue type of Spectre, as opposed to the Reapers, which were red. Um, and they shoot a bunch of blue bullets that kind of arc out from them. Uh, so you want to defeat them as fast as possible, especially if there's multiple of them, because they can make the stage really hard to navigate through. Um, but you can tell that the name of this level is Convection because of these sort of stovetop jet type things that are uh, lighting up every so often in varying patterns. Um, and at some points in the stage, the pattern will actually follow where you step, which uh. kind of turns this into a miniature game of Snake, especially when you're in co-op. Um, you might think that the jets uh, would instantly knock you down, but they're actually not like insta-kill. They're sort of a slow-bake kind of thing. Um, and they are red damage, so they uh, can actually harm enemies as well. 
Uh, with that being said, this level is just going to be a lot of ways of a lot of the enemies that we've seen so far, so we've got time for probably a couple of donations. The Sildat donated uh, 100 francs. Wow, that's... I don't know what is, that is. Is that a lot of in francs? There? <laughs> Fake money. <laughs> oh, poor Sildat. Okay. Okay. Hey. It's a weird donation, but hey. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll take all kinds. Doesn't matter, man. I think oh, the donation money, was supposed to be free. Money. I think their donation was supposed to be... First time restreamer greetings from Germany or something. <laughs> greetings from Germany. It's yeah. weird that he's doing the French restream from Germany. Yeah, it's strange. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, don't question it. New alliances and such. Germans for the win. Germans. And one year we had one year we had really bad uh, EDOS. Motherfuckers, both on training side and on training side. Like they, they couldn't down both restream at the same time. So oh, wait, people were trying to bring down the restream specifically? Yeah. That's no, not no. That's stupid. Spe specifically the restream, they were trying to DDoS specifically the restream, but they couldn't manage to down both the German restream and the French restream. I mean, uh. doesn't that require knowing, like, the source that they're streaming from or something? All right. Or did they just try to like go after the entire Twitch server, which is probably a dumb idea, and they probably didn't do that. If yeah, we gold no, they... split both these levels, Bond, we will PB. Oh, <laughs> don't you worry, we got this, man. 100%. Yeah, Alright, so here we got briefly introduced to Assault Android Licorice, but she's gonna be a jerk, a lazy jerk, and just let all these other enemies try right. to finish us off first. And they're doing a pretty good job with Mr. Bond over here. Hey, I heard like, that. Oh. Um, so we haven't, we've been skipping. Hey, you gotta kill them all, oh, Bond. You gotta kill them all. It's fine, we're we've just been, padding. We've, padding. We're, we've been skipping the boss dialogue, uh, which is an option in the menu. Uh, but uh, if you watch the boss dialogue, then uh, at the end of the Venom fight, he, he's about to sp spill the beams, but then somebody comes and shuts him off, and you see the silhouette of who ends up being like a race, which we find out here. Also, Some call out to you, there's a turret in the middle story. that is gone now. Uh, you missed it. And it didn't get to fire, but that was a third type of turret, the maser turret, which fires blue lasers in the opposite direction. Uh, it rotates in the opposite direction of the red laser turret. That's um, it. And obviously, blue lasers will not damage enemies; they will only damage. You. So but that's why I'm always getting toast. <laughs> that's why I'm always getting toast. <laughs> you gotta kill them all, Bond. Yeah, I got them all. What are you talking about, and man? Now it's. Time for the serious fight, which is uh, against Licorice. You'll notice that the score oh, at the bottom of the screen got that. replaced by another battery. Shit. Licorice is another assault android. She can also uh, pick up batteries. Oh, no, 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 don't do it, energy. don't. Oh. All right, well, rep, rip, 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 rip. Uh, uh, yeah, fine. Speaking we got this of still. picking up batteries, yeah, I guess we just saw a demonstration of that. Unfortunately, um, the, this is basically just a war of attrition. So the, the round lasts as long as Licorice it has batteries basically. So, uh, ideally you don't want her to pick up batteries and you kind of want, like, at least one person to be focused no. on Licorice Oh down. my goodness, why? And, what, what? How did she get that? She, I had, thought she, you had, were all over she had wings. Eh, fuck, Licorice, us please. Rifle, I guess. No, um, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, yeah, good, one. good. She got fire under control a little bit. Oh, uh, right. it's, it's... Where is she? Oh, there. She's right next to you, man. <laughs> Almost said a very bad word. So you kind of want to keep her down as much as possible. Yeah. However, obviously, she has just a lot of weapon when power. she gets up, she has invincibility for a few, a few seconds. So you do have to deal with her for a little bit. No, of time. no, 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 no! Oh, oh man! Bond, wow. you are failing your responsibility. I am failing my responsibility, huh? Oh, is Bond on licorice duty here? Who, yes. who, who did not keep the optimism going into this into this level here? <laughs> And, uh, I did, I told so you. So if Bond is trying to down Licorice, Sam is going to just try to focus on being near enemies when the battery spawns, which, yeah, the boss here isn't really Licorice, the boss here is the battery spawns, and whether they decide to spawn near her or you. Oh, that was, yeah. I'll do your man. job. I'll do your job, Bond. Don't worry. Hey, I softened her yeah, up. Yeah, he was, he was literally laying down on the job. Yeah. There, see? No problem. We got it. 100% right. easy. <laughs> First try, yada yada yada. Gold, gold four split. Minute. Four minute game. Right there. <laughs> Quick change to Bond's splitting software. <laughs>
Alright, so, we've found the Nexus Core, and we've found out that she's kind of going off the deep end. By the way, I hope you learned a weapon swap, because that's really useful for these bullet phases here. Um, first of all, for swapping through the laser, if you want to maneuver that way. Uh, people tend to develop their own style of dealing with that. Um, but also, mainly for the bullets, because especially as starch, you want to be close to do maximum damage with the laser. Um, and in order to do that, you're going to weapon swap through the bullets as they come out. And, uh, now we see a refight of the final phase of the embryo boss fight. <clears throat> and so there's going to be uh, a few of these. Uh-oh. Didn't quite get out of the way of that line of fire. Um, so now we've got another bullet phase, uh, this time without lasers and with bullets that alternate directions. This tends to be, I don't know, I find this easier to deal with usually. But... Uh, we're just gonna keep focusing this down, avoiding bullets, weapon swapping through them as necessary, and now we are on the Spilla Oopsie. final phase we fight, which we're actually seeing at this time. We didn't get to see it before, because she was shut... yeah, that. So, that happened again. Uh, but yeah, novelty flowers, wasps, vines. If you stay inside the radius of the wasps and don't kill any, uh, there's a maximum to how many will spawn, so you can actually kind of stay safe in there. I mean, relatively speaking, obviously there's other stuff coming for you too. Now we have another bullet phase, which features a bunch of dark blue bullets, which, as we saw in Venom's fight, can instantly knock you down. So we've got to watch out for those and be careful in weapon swap. Uh, now we've got Justice and uh, the refight of the final phase of him, which again we've got laser fences and the, uh, the heads that he that each fire a different kind of laser and drop his super mines basically. Uh, but they got All through right. that. Here it comes. Yep. Here we go. There it is. Nice. And now we're <laughs> Good work. We're doing and now we've got the laser, which the really job. loves Aubergine for some reason. Um, but this is uh, this is Medulla basically throwing everything she's got at you. So there's these uh, melee tentacles that have a deceptively <laughs> wide damage radius, actually. It's kind of hard to avoid them other than weapon swapping or destroying them before they can actually attack. And then you've got the little stubby things which do like an electric field. So by the way, this isn't done yet. Um, time will be at the menu at the end when they hit complete. Uh, this is entering the ether sphere, uh, which is basically a pure test of skill. Uh, there's no battery spawns. There's no power-up spawns. You have, w you you get max weapon energy within like three seconds, even if you were at level zero before. Um, and you just have to kill all these enemies within a minute because you start with a full battery, but there's not going to be any battery drops. If you do take a knockdown during this phase go for j just like make a mad rush for any cubes on the level because the cubes will detonate as they uh run into you so when you get up from knockdown you have invincibility for a couple seconds so it's useful to actually take out enemies. and uh they've dealt with all the cubes uh medulla is doing her death throws here and we will have time in a few seconds and time time uh. 52 minutes flat again Oh wait, was it 51 flat before? Yeah, it's 51 flat. Well, this is 52 or 2 according to Sam. But... Ah, whatever. Two.